Hi everyone, Georgetown Soaps here. I am making a new soap for me. Um, I normally don't do embeds, so this is kind of a new thing for me. I The scent is actually gonna be Beach Cabana. It's a Bath and Body Works fragrance. Um, the description is jasmine, orange blossoms, um, powdery notes, cotton blossom. It's just a really nice, refreshing kind of beach themed soap. Um, it smells really nice. It's not overwhelming. It's not in your face like ocean fragrance. Um, so it's really nice. I really did like it. Um, so you can see I have mixed my lye water in, adding a little bit of TD, um, and this fragrance does not accelerate. You'll see that I've got plenty of time to work with it. I also don't over stick one. I get a lot of questions. People are like, well, I made the same fragrance you did, but it accelerated. I don't stick blonde a lot. So <clears throat> I think that's the key. I think a lot of people are used to, they think they have to stick blend, stick blend, stick blend. I do very light blending. Um, so I think that's the key sometimes. Um, but this fragrance is really nice. Um, what I decided to do is try some sage powder. I would gotten this from Be Scented and I just haven't used it in a while. Actually, I probably haven't used it in two years. So um, what it does, it's these brown specks. When you blend them all in, it kind of gives like a nice, like kind of almost beachy look, like a sand effect um, at the bottom of the soap. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of over stick blend this part because this is gonna be the base for my soap and I want it to set up pretty quickly so that I can pour my other colors and other layers in. So I'm gonna stick blend this till it's a little bit thicker than normal and then that way I will have plenty of time for it to, you know, kind of set up. Um, and then I can get my top layers ready to go. So give me a few minutes and I'll be right back. So once I had the batter thick enough, I went ahead and you can see I used my spatula and I made some indents. They probably weren't nearly as 
um, striking as I wanted with the cut, but I'll make them a little bit more, I guess the word I would use is I'll make the indents a little bit more severe next time around. Um, that way there's a little bit more, it's, they're a little bit more obvious and it looks a little bit more beachy. But anyway, so I am going to do an in the pot swirl for the top. So I'm going to use this like new teal color and then I'm going to use the titanium dioxide because I want it to kind of look like the ocean and the beach and the sky and all of that. So I'm just going to do a real simple in the pot swirl. Um, I think that's the best way to kind of achieve this kind of random pattern of color. So getting the, I've got the TD pretty, you can see it's pretty thick right now. Um, it's not liquidy at all, which is what I want. Um, I think when you do it too liquidy, the in the pot swirl gets all muddled and the colors kind of blend, but you can see this really, really pretty teal color. Um, and again, I've got that one pretty thick um, because I do want the colors to be distinct. I don't want them to muddle together too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this kind of mixed up for the in the pot and then I'll be right back. All right, and so I've got the batter kind of all thickened up. I needed it thick enough that it kind of set up so that I could get my embeds in there. 
and these embeds they are stars starfish shells and fish and I got these molds off of um, Amazon and so if you go to the link below I've got an Amazon link below um, and you will see it will take you to the actual molds that I used um, and I did make these in cold process soap so I made these several days ago um, the one comment I will make on the starfish molds is they're not very deep um, and so I had trouble with a couple of them kind of breaking off um, and they weren't quite perfect um, the soap was really soft but I'm okay with that because you know what no one is really gonna notice um, the one thing I probably would do different with these embeds is I would make the fish a little bit thinner I wouldn't fill the molds up quite as much just to make them a little bit <coughs> they kind of fill up to me they're just a little too thick I think they look great but I probably would have maybe taken you know a centimeter off just not filled it up the whole way and maybe the same thing with the shell um, just so that they're a little bit easier to work with I like the thickness of the I like the d thickness of the uh, seashells or the starfish I guess is what they call it, the starfish so anyway I'm just gonna go ahead and you can see I've marked out on my mold at the one inch markings just so that I'm not cutting through any of the embeds when I'm cutting and these are still pretty soft so I'm not gonna have any issues cutting through them if I need to with the wire cutter um, in the event that something is off so I'm gonna go ahead keep sticking all these in and I will bring you guys back for the cut All right, so I'm almost done. I'm gonna add a couple more mole embeds on the top and then I'm gonna be back for the cut. Now I'm gonna say this is a totally new design for me. I was really happy with how it came out. A couple things I probably would have done differently. I probably would have done the fish a little bit thinner, but I think it came out all in all really nice. I love the bottom with the sage powder. Just think it came out really, really nice. I stole that technique from Angie at Sunshine, Sunshine Soaps. I've seen her do it. I'm sure everyone else has done it, but I watched, um, I saw one of her uh, pictures on Instagram and that's how she said she did it. So really happy with how it comes out. I probably should have held these up a little bit longer just so you can see the detail, but um, for, hey, for my first time kind of doing embeds, I was just really happy with how the whole beach theme came out. Super, super nice. I got a couple great um, photos that I can use. But yeah, really like the seashells and the starfish. And I don't think it's too, at first I thought it was going to be too busy with having two embeds per piece of soap, but I really don't think it is. But, and as I say that, I've got one with just a starfish. I think I probably ran out at that piece. I was just short a piece, an embed. But really happy with how this turned out I think it's just super beachy super you know super fun and again you know for me not really doing embeds much um, this is a new design technique for me really happy with how it turned out so anyway thank you so much for subscribing and thanks for watching and I will see you on my next video have a great day